Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a Volnhub machine NYX1. I thought it was a one, but yeah, we're going to be checking this box out. We're going to try to pwn it, try to root and get access to this machine, see how long it takes me. I just downloaded this today from Volnhub and we're going to be going through this box. Remember, please like, subscribe, share, and this is strictly for educational purposes. All these techniques and cool things are in my network and this should be in yours too. I wouldn't put these VMs or anything like that in a production network, you know, because they're vulnerable systems. So this is just for practice and learning. So let's get started, all right? So what we have here is we have NYX1. It was released in 2020. So it's about a year, a little over a year old. Oh, you know, almost a year because we're in July. So we have a description here from the from the up you know the, the, the person that uploaded this. It says it's an easy box, pretty easy stuff, pretty basic stuff. It's VMware based. I am running this in VMware workstation. So I'm not running this in VirtualBox. It was pretty easy. You just download it and import it, open it up and it opens. So it says it's two flags under home and then under root. So it says no stupid CTF, why? You know, ctf guessy stuff. So, and if you need any help, just hit this guy up on his uh, Discord and we should be good. So let's, uh, happy ponin, let's go. So you can just download this right from, from the website. I downloaded the, the Mega uh, download. So it was pretty, pretty easy. So before we get started, I'll show you what I have here. So I have this VM right here. It says happy poning 192.168.32.203. Just so you know, that's how I got my IP address. Okay, so let's go back here. Make this bad boy bigger so we can uh, see what we're working with, all right? So first things first, let's go ahead and minimize this now. We can enumerate this, right? So let's go quickly run an Nmap scan against this machine. All right, let's do an MMAP, oh perfect. Uh, we're gonna do a service scan to that box and let's see what the results we get back. This is strictly a walkthrough for this box, so you know, watch it to the end and figure out how we're gonna get this uh, access to this machine. It should be fun, we'll see, we'll see how long it takes. So we have port 22 and port 80 open. So I guess this is gonna be a web server. So let's go to 192. Okay, perfect. So we see here, happy poning, NYCX, or N NYC, NYX. All right, so the first thing, let's just go ahead and see if there's any shenanigans viewing the source code, all right? So if we look at the source code, we don't really see too much stuff here, just some color, and then all the way out here, all the way at the bottom we see, don't waste your time looking at the source codes or robots.txt, etc. Focus on the real stuff. All right, thank you for that. Let's see what else we got going on here. All right, so let's go ahead and run derb. So what we can do is do a brute force directory, directory brute force on this box. All right, so let's go ahead and derb. Okay, perfect. So we can run so what I did here is run a derb against the IP address with the extension .php and HTML, see what's out there. All right, so we have an extension .php. So we do have a key.php. I have no idea what that is, but let's go copy this. And let's go back here, let's open up a new tab. And, okay, it says try harder, try harder kiddo. Hey. I'm not no kid. Uh, can you find the key? All right. So it says enter the key here once we have the key. So let's see what else we can do, right? So what else we can do is run like a script, like a, uh, an MMAP script for HTTP-enum. All right, so let's go back to here. Let's go back to our command line and let's just put NMAP 
uh, dash. So the commands I'm going to be doing is dash capital C capital C. I'm S capital C. Okay, and then we're going to do another service scan, and then port 80. So P 80 because that's the that's the port we want to enumerate. Dash dash script. I guess this is not going to work. Okay, so we'll do equals to HTTP enum, okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is the IP address that we wanna do it, so that we wanna scan, 192.168.32.203. All right, we'll let that do its thing. We'll give this a second to um, fully run, and once that's fully ran, we can see some information. Okay, so we did it on port 80, so we do have a string here, so we can copy this PHP, and then we can go back to, so let, let's see what we're rocking with here, if we just do that PHP. Okay, cool. So it looks like we have some information here. So we have a key. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm, this looks like a username or something, I don't know, but I wanna copy this into my notes. So let's just put this, might be a username. Okay, let's just save that for later. Okay. All right, so what I wanna also do here is I wanna put this here. Oh, crap, I don't wanna do that. Let's just go back here, copy this PHP, copy, whoop, not that, paste. All right, so we have this key here, okay? So with this key, I'm assuming this is gonna be an SSH key, if I was to guess, because SSH and port 80 is running. So what I wanna do is copy this. Okay, I wanna copy this whole shebang. Copy. And then I wanna go ahead and open up my, so I, let me do an LS really quick. All right, so what I wanna do is clear this. I'm gonna do nano, okay, that's nano, and I wanna paste this in here, okay, paste, make sure there's nothing, okay, there's no spaces or anything. All right, so what I'm gonna do is save this, so control X, save to buffer, yes, and I wanna write key, and uh, what can I name this? What is the name of this machine again? Let me see here. Uh, NGX. All right, so I want to do it NGX or NYX, right? Oh my God, I can't remember. NYX. NYX dash PVT. Okay, so now if I do an LS, now if I cat. Okay, perfect. So now I have that key. Okay, so now let's go ahead and clear this so we can get started. Keep going. So now what we can try to do, first of all, I want to do something really quick. I want to see what the permission is to this. Uh, let's just do this really quick. Let's chmod 600 key. Okay. Perfect. That should be good now. All right. Cool deal. So let's clear that. So now I want to do an SSH dash i, because we're gonna indicate a file, to be key, and then the username, I'm assuming it's gonna be this guy right here, okay, at 192.168.32.203 in my case. Okay, so that worked. So now it looks like we're on that machine if we do an if config, IP address. We can we can see we're on 203 now. Host name. Okay, NYX. Perfect. So let's do an whoops. What happened? We can do an ls. So user.txt. Okay, so let's cat user.txt. Okay, cool. So we can just copy this. They said there was two user flag, I'm guessing. 
Okay. All right, so that's that. So it looks like we got user. Now we have to use root flag. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. So that looks like that. So if we do pwd, and we how about we just do cd slash home ls. All right, so that's the only thing that's in there. What about if we do an ls l? Okay. All right, so that looks like the only thing in there at the moment, okay? So it said that it was on, let's go back to this really quick. So if we go back down, it said it was in root. Okay, so it looked like it was in root. So let's go back here. So let's cd to root. All right, so what we may have to do now, oh man, my shoulder's killing me. So what we're gonna have to do now is, uh, we're gonna have to escalate the permissions or escalate the privileges. So let's do sudo dash L. So we can see here user mpenf, whatever it is, may run as the following commands on nyx. So root, no password. So it's user bin gcc, okay? So what we can do, if you don't, if you don't know it, we can go, we can copy GCC, or we can just go out to the internet. I have this cool site that I use. I use uh, G, uh, GT, GTFO bins. So we can just do GCC here, and we can put sudo, because we're trying to get, you know, we're trying to escalate the permissions. Let's make this bigger. So since we're trying to pop a shell, we can use this command, let's go back, paste it, not that, paste, hit enter. All right, looks like we're good. Let's do an ID really quick. Okay. That's uh, interesting. So what we're gonna have to do, I, I think I, uh, let's do something really quick. Let's try CD to root. All right. So let's just exit out of here really quick. Let's cd to, what the hell is this guy's name? Let's do an ls, back to cd mp ls. Okay, so let's do that command again, just from the, the root of there, id. Okay, interesting, very, very interesting. All right, so let's do cd, see if we can get to root now. Interesting. So this is doesn't seem like... Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Let's exit that. Let's do sudo. Oh, my God. Now do an id. Now we're root. Okay? So that was my bad. Sometimes I just get ahead of myself. So now if we do an ls, user, so let's cd root, or cd backslash root, ls root cat root.txt. Okay, that's weird, let's do, huh. So it doesn't look like there's anything in that file. So I don't know if that's a trick, I don't know, but it looks like we accomplished to get the flag, right? Because we got the flag in here, and I guess this is trick. Nothing inside. Okay, so it looks like we accomplished this box. So NYX1 has been rooted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share, and until next time, have a good one, and we'll be chatting soon. If you need any questions, or if you have any questions, leave comments below. Hit me up on social media, and I'm more than happy to help. Thank you.